The topic of fiber optics is totally fascinating, but it also raises many questions. We will try to answer those questions with our trainers in our training center in Hamburg. We have different cables at Deutsche Telekom, and I simply brought the largest and the strongest cable with me. There are a total of 192 fibers inside, and they are divided into a total of 16 loose tubes. Each tube contains 12 fibers. This cable is used for building line network, meaning a network connecting individual exchanges in the long distance cable area. Let's start on the outside, here we can see quite nicely made the PE protective sheath, which is shown in black. After that, we installed grounding here. We have to install this when we bring the cable into a closure or install it in a switching center. Since there's some metal in this cable, a non-woven filling follows underneath. This non-woven filling is used here for the longest possible water tightness of the cable. After that, our loose tubes, which are wrapped around a support element, come in a so-called SZ twist. The support element keeps the shape of the cable, and here we also have a central element in the support element for strain relief. The colors play a very important role in our network, we need color coding so that the fitter outside the organization can distinguish between the fibers here. This color code includes a total of 12 colors, so we'll start with the color red, and end with the color pink. Let's set an example with the loose tubes, we mark each them with different color, and in the end we'll get 16 different tubes. But we only have 12 colors. So that we don't run out of colors, we use a black marking ring on the bundle cores 13 to 16, which we also put on the loose tube. So if there's a red color, I'll know if this is my first loose tube, or is this now my 13th loose tube. We also find the color coding again, inside the loose tube itself. There are 12 fibers in each tube, and these fibers are also marked with their own colors. And here. I have a mini cable. We use this mini cable in the main cable area and in the access network, for example to connect a network distributor to our switch. Here in the mini cable, there are only 8 loose tubes. These loose tubes are color coded as well. Same as before, this color coding scheme includes a total of 12 colors, starting with red and ending with the color pink. The loose tubes themselves contain 12 fibers, and these 12 fibers are also marked in different colors, using the same color code. Again, we'll be starting with red, and with pink. The glass fiber mini cable should never be kept in the ground. Instead, it must be put into a protective speed net pipe, meaning cable trunking. This speed net trunking will then be continuously protecting the wire from air and water. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or your own topic request, please let us know in the comments. I'd love if you could give thumbs up to the video, and if you don't want to miss another one, please subscribe to our channel.